sure you've seen from our producers in our YouTube videos that this event has to do with water. Well, why exactly is water important and why are we raising money for it? I don't know, Chapter. Why don't you tell me that? <laughs> <laughs> well, in the United States, we take for granted the clean and safe drinking water that is presented to us every day. But when we drink water, we don't think about where it comes from or those who don't have it. Did you know that some people have to walk three miles every day just for clean drinking water? And that 4,100 children die a day from waterborne illnesses and 22,000 die a day from preventable diseases? Nope. Did you know that the simple act of washing a child's face with clean water can prevent waterborne diseases such as blinding trachoma, which is an infectious eye disease that spreads from child to child? Blinding trachoma is actually the world's leading cause of preventable blindness. But what exactly is UNICEF? <laughs> the acronym stands for United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund. Say that five times fast. I have. <laughs> what you need to know is this. Their goal is to turn the 22,000 children that die every day from eventual causes to zero. UNICEF has saved more children's lives than any other humanitarian organization. They're determined to do whatever it takes to stop children dying from lack of clean water and sanitation. What does this mean? It means that UNICEF and its partners uh, drill wells and install water pumps, help communities build the trains, teach life-saving hygiene skills to children, and track safe water to children and families in emergencies. <coughs> UNICEF is committed to finding cost-effective and environmentally sound solutions to all child survival threats. <laughs> 900 million people lack clean water, half of those people being children. That's the population of New York City multiplied by 45 times. Waterborne disease is the second highest cause of childhood death in the world. In just four years, the UNICEF TAP project has helped more than 80,000 women and children with clean water that won't as UNICEF TAP volunteers, we are working with thousands of other volunteers nationwide to raise money and awareness just like this one tonight. Um, we believe in the work that UNICEF is doing and doing everything we can to save a child's life. You can help by buying big goods, um, our, handmade, our handmade jewelry. <laughs> you can enter our raffle, which is a Nalgene water bottle or um, a $25 American Express gift card. Um, or we have a donation box if you guys just want to donate. And by donating just one dollar, you can provide safe and clean water for a child for at least 40 days. All the funds raised tonight support UNICEF's efforts to bring clean and accessible water to millions of children all over the world. Thank you guys for listening and supporting UNICEF once again. UNICEF. <laughs> UNICEF. <laughs> once again, we are the co-founders of Chasing the Moon Foundation. I'm Chelsea. And I'm Jessica. You can check us out on our Facebook for more events. <laughs> if you guys haven't signed up on the sign-in sheet, um, we would really appreciate it. It's in the back. Thank you guys and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. How do I get closer to you when you keep it all on you? How will I know the right way to love you? Usually the queen figure now, breaking down a man, it's no work out, but I have no
so I was kind of dumb and maybe just a little bit creepy. I guess you could say, Jailbait.